This is our very first arena match ever. This, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Oh! I always forget to use disarm. That's my input for right now. Oh, let's play safe. We'll play it long. What's his buff say? So it's a rogue. It's right rogue. Oh, he's right next to us. Ah! Nice. I'm on the rogue, I think. He evasioned already. They're trying to kill you, dude. I feared him. Rogue cast to sit in it the whole time. I got the ret stunned. I got him slowed as well. I'm going to switch to rogue here. Oh, he, he broke with the blind on me. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm disarming rogue. Got him rooted as well. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to stun. Uh, big damage on this freaking rogue, dude. Huge damage on rogue. Almost got him. Cheat death Brox. He's bopped. No. I, I trinketed Hodge. I'm killing right now. I kicked Holy Light. Oh my god, you're sick. That was our first freaking arena win. Can we freaking... Can we just get a, a moment of silence? No, that's for bad stuff. And here we are. We're back. It's D-Machine and Clutter. What up? It's Wrath of the Lich King Arenas. We have made it to 80. We are officially in the end game. We're Being in the, the game noobs. that we are, we wanted to be in. Being the noobs, pwning the noobs. <laughs> You're being noobs and pwning the noobs? Yes. So, um, we both played Wrath of the Lich King back in the day when it was retail. Uh, but I was so young that I feel I was completely like not competitive. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, my awareness was bad. I haven't that. even, <laughs> dude, I don't even know if I was fully key bound back then. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I definitely wasn't. And I wasn't key bound correctly. Yeah, no, I, yeah. So this time around, uh, it feels like the same. It feels familiar, but also, uh, very different. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the pacing. I'm enjoying feeling like, when I press that mortal strike button and someone's health bar drops down to half and I overpower spam someone to death, it, it, it feels good. I feel powerful. Uh, and I think uh, I understand why everyone's hyped about this shit, why everyone's hyped about Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah, obviously, Dragon uh, Dragonflight's not out yet, but whenever I'm watching Peekaboo or even Venruki, I just can't help but see everybody in chat kind of like coaxing on the streamer to talk about comparing them yeah yeah it's interesting because they're just gonna be out at the same time i guess yeah to a certain extent look at that w easy money. <laughs> yeah we're queuing a 3v3 arena in these clips with uh the one and only magic stat otherwise known as healing stat otherwise known as adrian our buddy our boy our homie he used to uh, help us make GCD back in the day. Yeah, he's an OG. OG yeah. homie. He's, uh, he convinced us to play some Wrath of the Lich King, and he's uh, queuing some threes okay, on a he fire mage. Carried us, I think, in these games, because they were like a few of our first games, so thanks for the carry. Thanks for the carry. He <laughs> yeah, he was doing more damage than me, and I felt like I was pumping, but yeah, I'm like yeah, really learning. I didn't even bubble. I was like, oh my god. This is our very Somber. first session. Like, I know that like in the very first clip of this video, I said that you know this is our first game because it was our first game of two v two. But right now in this three v three session, we actually threes before we did twos because we weren't gonna do twos until we got full honor gear. Oh yeah, I was playing with. And Adrian just kind of said, "Hey, let's cue." Yeah, he wanted to play, and I was like, "I'm not gonna." Oh pass yeah, you have up. no add-ons. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I, well, do, "Wait, you have the other games in here too, though, right?" Uh, um, I think so. We'll see. We'll find out. Because later on, I do have add-ons. Yeah. I play it like I play Listen, this isn't the last video we're going to make, right? So make sure to hit that subscribe button to stick around and follow us, follow us on our Wrath of the Lich King journey. Um, we're we're going to push as high rating as we possibly can, but we are going to play Dragonflight. Uh, I saw all these streamers going back to the original topic that all these streamers kind of talking about Dragonflight, talking about whether or not it is or isn't going to be good and some of the concerns that people have. And um, I, I think that there's some some topics that I wanted to, to touch on, mainly like uh, the benefits of both, because 
I love Wrath of the Lich King. I love its pacing. I love feeling like I'm doing a lot of damage, but there's a lot of things about it too that uh, I, I realized I was taking for granted in retail. Yeah. <laughs> like, for example, line of sight and battlegrounds kind of being a suggestion back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, just getting sh lava bursted through an entire AV cliff is just like one of those things where it's like, it still kind of happens on live, but in the newer stuff, it it's not as prevalent. And then like, stance dancing on a warrior in pvp like just binding every ability that needs a di like a, a stance uh it, it's it's cool i like i think there's like a nerdy aspect of like that outplay that i like but it's like it's not really an outplay i think that the game should continue to like invest in you know what i mean like now that like the, the internet's such a different place min maxing is in such a different place like getting that how that information is shared is so different streaming kind of changed all of that you know so like um mm. it's weird it's different but what, how, how have you been enjoying the blaster and plus holy paladin gameplay it's fun um i'm still learning how best to set up my stuff so here's a but question I like for it. you i like the oh see i see you giving oh, yourself no, freedom i don't want to die oh this is when i didn't bubble Oh, oh, do we win this? I don't even remember this game. No, I don't think you guys do. Oh. Either way, it super felt bad because I was like, I should. Sorry, I included <laughs> it, <laughs> Hannah. But that we gotta include. We're gonna include our Ws, and we're going to include. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing with my stances right now. <laughs> Get your two-hander out, man. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I have my two-hander out the whole, or my one-hander. There it is, two-hander. Execute him. Ex oh, we w dude, we totally win this. Mm, do we win it? I don't know. This is a crazy good game, though. This is our very first session. Go easy on us. I know we lost at least two games that night. The, the pacing in Wrath of the Lich King feels good. I feel like when I hit things, I hit things. But I also think that um, th there's some clunkiness to it, you know? I think that, like, the rotations in the newer game, this is controversial, but I, I like some of the newer rotations in Dragonflight specifically. How many buttons that they're giving us back. That, that's a, I feel like so many people are compa comparing, like, endgame Shadowlands that has basically been kind of, like, you know, given up on from the developer's point of view, it would only make sense to look at the new expansion, right? Um, <laughs> why? Yeah, dude, why do I... Oh, there's my two-hander. Yeah, we win, babe. Never surrender. It was really close, though. It was really close. Gosh, I'm so... I still have my shield sword out. I must win, dude. There's my two-hander. Yes! I don't know why. Oh, I'm killing those totems. And then he just keeps putting them down. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll stop killing these totems. <laughs> How, why? I must have lost this. There's no way I win this. Yeah, you lost it. Oh! Because the dots, the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh my gosh, I wouldn't have if... If, uh... Look at my stupid face. <laughs> no, if I didn't use my seal... If I actually did damage. Gosh! Gosh, we have a long ways to go. <laughs> I'm like, I shut up, I shut up, I shut up. So here's, here's one thing that I wanted to bring up, is that the pacing obviously feels better uh, because every, like, uh, the, you know, the consistent pressure, just like your general rotation, can do so much pressure. If an arms warrior is in range of you and is free, you're going to die. If a caster is free casting on you, you're going to die. And uh, that is something that I think a lot of people miss, but I think it also is directly connected to like a uh, barrier to entry when it comes to its gameplay. Like I think that uh, when it's that cutthroat, um, where if you make a mistake, you, you kind of die, it's, a, it's less inviting I'd say, but uh, it just makes the game completely reliant on cooldowns and that makes it just so much more predictable in the window much smaller. And I think that, um, uh, the damage and the multipliers getting removed from retail is a really good sign. I think a lot of like unintentional interactions were like destined to happen with the amount of multipliers the game used to have. So them cleaning that up, adding a bunch more buttons, a bunch more CC back, like all the things that I'm seeing in Wrath of the Lich King, I don't necessarily feel like can't happen in Dragonflight. Mm -hmm. 
uh, in terms of game pacing. Um, it doesn't feel it on the beta right now, but uh, actually it depends on what class you're playing. Sometimes it does. Um, but there's also like gearing and like barrier to entry. Getting to level 80 in Wrath of the Lich King sucked. But oh, they already kind of addressed that on retail. Yeah. I don't know. We'll well, what do you think about that? Do you think that there should be like a like a pretty challenging leveling process? Like, there there is something really cool about being like that level sixty. And There's a balance to it for sure. But then I also think more things should be account wide. But I'm pretty sure they are doing that for a lot of things. Right. So it's easier alt friendly. Alt friendly. That's why. Right. I, like. I don't know. Alt friendly. Oh yeah, I see what you're like, saying. How so do like, you, make it you do it one time and. It. You do it one time, so you don't need to do the same quest. You know, yeah, I didn't mind doing it one time over. I think the thing on live that uh, is not as good as Wrath, in my opinion, is the honor upgrading. It's just so much honor farm. Yeah. It's a lot of honor farm. With and the I, catch up I'm not a big fan of like grinding out well, big grinds. Like I, I like. That and m most competitive games do this too, right? There's like uh, uh, an early portion of the comp of the gameplay where you have to grind out to a certain level. In Valorant, you get to level 20, and League it's level 20, and <laughs> Heroes before you could competitive, you have to get to a certain level. Like every competitive game kind of has that prerequisite. Overwatch, same thing. Uh, and World of Warcraft having the prerequisite for Arena of like basically getting. <laughs> Like, no prerequisite for the, arena. the prerequisite for Arena is finding partners, which is becoming easier. And then there's solo queue too, so you won't even need to find partners. Oh. But then there's uh, also uh, uh, gear. I think that that's like you can go into the arena and like immediately get crushed <laughs> with no gear. And I'd yeah. say that that's the biggest prerequisite is like character power and character progression always being connected to. Um, character power and like how they kind of like leverage character progression and how we invest in our characters for like retention purposes uh, it's always gonna kind of contradict you know <laughs> because we're not gonna want to grind and they're gonna want to make us cry and uh, but at the same time I love the the parts of an MMO I love I love sharing this game with a zillion people that um, uh, want to enjoy the game in a different way than me. You just want an arena pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to be able to log on and play the game. I should have had a better line. My positioning is so bad. That's like, that. you keep saying that, but I'm like, damn, my positioning is bad. I keep watching my game. I never intervene you at good times, too. This is great. So uh, a lot of coaching services, like, they kind of recommend that you go and watch your footage over. And so oh, yeah, these little sessions of, like, uh, these podcast sessions are... Yeah, I'm are, coaching myself right now. <laughs> you're learning. Anna, put it, put more, uh, more recommendations on what we could be doing better in the comments below. We totally won't take offense to it and take it personally and feel really bad about our gameplay. Not at all. It won't happen. Oh... <laughs> I was thinking about it, um, but the way that gearing in Wrath of Lich King is right now, it feels really great because you get to level 80 and then you just buy Serenite gear for 50 gold a pop. And it's like not that, it's not that far off from <laughs> Savage. Yeah. Uh, and the most that people can have right now is like half hateful, like maybe some deadly pieces from, no, but no one's full deadly or very few people. I haven't seen anyone full deadly right now anyway and so it just feels like uh uh the barrier to entry <laughs> <laughs> the barrier to entry to the game is really good besides the leveling to 80 and i started thinking why can't they do that in retail and i think that they do do that in retail it's just the problem is it's inevitably going to get worse and worse and worse as uh, the expansion continues and as the gear gets better and better because the gap from the best geared to people who can just buy the crafted gear gets wider and wider and wider the more item levels are released. You know what I mean? You're sort of watching and yourself and laughing or something? Yeah, no, I was just like, oh, what are you doing getting feared? <laughs> oh, you got Polly. Let's see, do I have... I, think I don't have sacrifice up, so I couldn't have done that. I'm trying to think of things I could have done to avoid the Polly. I think... I think the pre-positioning is all you really can do, but I'm being aggressive, so 
your positioning is just destined to get messed in up. In this case, I could have charged the priest right there. I feel like and got in the line and then maybe even intercepted the mage. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice hodge. Yeah, I hit him here because I can't get there. <sighs> I'm enjoying Wrath. I'm going to continue to enjoy Wrath probably all the way until like the 28th. It appears that like the pre patch event does have queuing rated solo queue right now. So Ooh. in pre patch, when it comes out, you can queue rated solo queue immediately, maybe, okay. if, I, if I understand it correctly. What does the gear look like? But that's the problem is that we're so behind on gear right now, and I'm not going to grind no, out that gear. What if they do the gear thing where it doesn't matter? I thought they would do that. No. Nope, not right now. So you, you still have to go and level through Dragonflight. Gear still matters in, in Shadowlands. Um, so it's I'm not caught up, so I'm not going to go try it. But uh, that's exciting for people who have been keeping up and had like a rank one push. Go and enjoy that solo queue. But I'm probably not going to try Dragonflight out until uh, the game, or probably until I can level Evokers. That's going to be pretty cool to start leveling an Evoker. And I think that's on the 15th. That's pretty rad, but Ooh. I'm really looking forward to you, the 28th. Uh, I can do one of the evokers, and you can do the other one. Yeah, and but which one? I'll be the healer. You're going to be the healer? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit. How, how okay. do you feel about uh, assuming the role of a healer in our group? Because I was the holy priest there for a second. Yeah, and then I was trying out mage, right? And, and I, I was just, doing, like, rogue and holy priest. I don't priest, know. But. I feel like I'm having more fun right now as a holy paladin, so okay. that's why I'm like leaning towards the healing again just because i'm like it's fulfilling right now so hopefully it'll be in dragon flight yeah that's fair that's fair honestly that's the end goal whatever is fun but we're going to continue the grind we appreciate you guys listening subscribing uh commenting we will see you next episode of the adventures of h and d peace peace take care Bye, love you.